Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. So the first card is the Tower card, hence my ugh. Oh. So something huge happening over there, a big shift of energy over there. And there's some big decision that you have to be, you have to make. There is a, you know, you're being torn between two things, or, you know, almost like, uh, as I say, a rock and a hard place. You're, you're, st you're stuck between, uh, you know, two big things that you have to do. Um, this might not be something that you want to do because maybe both uh, the choices are not, you know, the best of choices to make. Maybe you really don't want to make this particular choice, but it is something that you're going to have to make pretty quickly. You're going to have to also make it from a very, very unemotional point of view. Uh, it might be even a legal issue that comes in over there because uh, you've got that two swords there. Um, and, you know, you're in two minds about whatever you have to do. Uh, but whatever is coming in is going to cause in a lot of disruption, a lot of drama uh, as well. But it's going to allow you to start something brand new. You've got that... Uh, page of pentacles over there so this is putting you on a different course uh, as far as your work goes so some kind of big maybe some kind of very very big news coming in that causes quite a disruption over there but allows you to move forward in a very different direction and make a brand new start with that adventure card there now in the past you've got the burden over there which is the six of swords and you've got the receptivity card of the which is the queen of uh, cups so with that burden card over here having gone through a lot of difficulties with that five of swords it seems like you've been moving in a new direction a much more peaceful direction you've got that receptivity card so feeling you know moving back um, along on your own uh, maybe a bit isolated and also maybe still feeling a little depressed uh, still thinking about the past and what has happened as well it seems like there may have been some advice that has come in for you, uh, you know, somebody showing you the way uh, and giving you a new insight on how to handle things as well. But it looks like you're, you know, you've started afresh or started afresh somewhere else. Now going into the future over there, uh, you've got the uh, star card over here. This is the silence card, so a need for contemplation, a need for, um, you know, you to have a new vision as well. And this is also a card that's showing guidance coming in on a spiritual level. You've got that uh, third eye chakra being activated over there, so a lot of insights coming in. So make sure you're watching your dreams. But also the card of uh, being... Um, you know, successful at what you do, but also being spiritually guided as well. And this is the card of consciousness, is the Ace of Swords, so some new idea, some new thought, and even in this card you can see that third eye chakra being activated over here. And this is the statue of the Buddha. So great teachings, uh, you know, a strong foundations, and also great insights, spiritual insights coming in uh, for you as well. So whatever comes in, it makes you think on a very different level, and you are being guided because both these cards have got the third eye chakra, so you're very, very intuitive at this particular moment. Make sure you are listening to all that is coming through, and keep a dream journal as well uh, you know remember what your, your dreams are because a lot of information is coming in and it looks like that might be information that guides you into the future and allows you to make a fresh start as far as you know work or even relationships go so some something really big coming in that's pushing on to that spiritual development but also it's uh, allowing you to connect with the universe on a very very deep level as well so i'm going to just draw some cards from the mythic tarot and this is for um the general read. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Seven of Swords, so you have been dealing with a very sneaky situation. Uh, maybe you've been dealing with somebody who's uh, lied and there's been a lot of betrayal as well with that Seven of Swords. But also this card could tell you, you know, is also telling you that if you have to handle any kind of situation, you might need to be the one that's sneaky. You might need to be doing things that nobody else knows about. So you might need to be doing your investigations, not telling people about what you're up to or telling people what you're doing. So don't divulge anything that you're up to. Uh, keep it to yourself. 
uh, and you might need to use some alternate means, uh, alternate ways of uh, sorting through a situation. So uh, you need to have a lot of strategy as well when handling whatever is going on. But like I said, you could well be dealing with a very sneaky person. There was a lot of lies and deception that happened over there, and maybe that's why you need to handle like with like. So if this particular person caused a lot of financial loss for you, they were very sneaky, they caused a lot of problems for you, you may need to use uh, you know, alternative methods or means uh, in order to outsmart them. So be very cunning in how you're handling this particular situation. Now you could well have been dealing with a uh, with a fire sign person over there. So this is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy over here. And you've got the King of Pentacles over here. So this could well be that you may have even been dealing with a Capricorn person as well. These two people are featuring quite uh, strongly in this um, you know, in the start over there. So you've got that seven of swords. So maybe these are the two people that you were dealing with that caused financial loss for you and caused a lot of problems for you. If this is not the person that you were dealing with, this uh, king of pentacles, this could well be you taking control and getting in charge of your finances as well and that, you know, money coming in for you. But with that queen of wands and that king of pentacles, it's almost like this is the energies that you have been dealing with and they have been quite underhand in how, uh, you know, you've had to deal with with them so there might be a way in which you have to sort them out uh, but that might not be a conventional way of sorting them out now you've got the Emperor over here so this means that uh, you know there might have been some legal issues you could have been dealing with as well uh, and uh, you know, a, a, um, a judgment was made this is also that you could have been dealing with somebody that was very very um, uh, they could have been very controlling now the Emperor card is ruled by um, Mars, which rules uh, Aries as well as Scorpio. So you could have been doing with those energies. You've been controlled by this particular person and, uh, you know, they caused up a, a lot of issues, a lot of problems as well. They could have even caused those legal issues. Since you have that Queen of Wands over here, this could have well been that you were dealing with an Aries person uh, and this was where you had your problems. And there was a lot of battles. This person caused a lot of uh, issues. You can see there's this huge snake, uh, fire-breathing snake as well. So a very, very toxic situation that you were dealing with. There seems to have been legal problems that you were dealing with as well. So a lot of negativity, a lot of toxicity, a lot of toxicity, a lot of conflict that came out of this particular situation there. And they might be featuring back again in your life over there. So coming in again over there. Uh, but you know, you could be the one that is even getting some kind of money or payoff from whatever the situation is um, that has, you know, it's reaching its conclusion and it looks like there's some kind of payout that comes in. Now you've got the Eight of Swords over here, so wherever you are at the moment, you're still feeling very, very trapped, very, very anxious, very, very conflicted, very, very isolated as well. Maybe nobody's even giving you that support. And there's nobody that you can really turn to. There might be a lot of people that are gossiping about you, saying things that are very negative, stirring up a lot of issues over there. You've got a very lot of you know, a lot of dark sky there, and this has been playing on your mind. This is making you very, very anxious. Now, going into the future, you've got the Two of Cups over there. So somebody's going to come to rescue you from the situation. You can see this, uh, it looks like a really big monster with big teeth over there floating in the ocean. So you've been having a lot of emotional turmoil, uh, but it looks, and this person is very chained to this rock. So uh, where you've been very, feeling very, very restricted and tired, even at that age of swords, this uh, man comes to rescue this woman um, from this particular situation. So he's going to cut her off the rocks over there and uh, set her free. So somebody is going to be coming in there, some kind of information maybe, but it might well be a person with whom you could connect to quite strongly. Or, or on a quite a spiritual level or quite a, a soulmate kind of connection that comes to rescue you from whatever has been going on. Now you've got the four of wands over here. So this is victory after going through a lot of hassles and a lot of problems. And you know, you're managing, this is even working with a group of people as well. So if this had been a work situation that you were dealing with, it looks like the people that are around you will be supportive and whatever you set your mind to, you will be, will be victorious in. It also looks like there might be some travel that comes in with that ship 
going over the sea over there. So, uh, you know, there might be some travel com coming in for you. So you might be doing some uh, overseas work or working with a group of people. And it's going to be quite successful as well. This is a card of celebration usually. Uh, you could even be starting new contracts because it is the marriage card. And you could be signing new contracts as well. Now, you're still dealing with a lot of problems. This is the Seven of Wands. Uh, facing a lot of, um, you know, difficulties and obstacles and even maybe difficult people. This is about standing your ground, standing for what you believe in and don't take any nonsense from anybody really. You've got some kind of new offer coming in. So this could well be a new offer that comes in with that four of wands over here, taking a new job, maybe relocating, and you're trying to make a choice over there. This is also about worrying about money and um, you know, this is the Two of Pentacles, but it's got the flavor of the uh, magician there, you know, with all these, uh, uh, the sword suit and so forth. So you're going to be very, very hard at work, but also making a decision, and you're trying to manifest money as well. So going into the future, the final outcome, you've got the Seven of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the King of Cups. It's very emotional cards of the year, uh, and this is also about learning. So you've got a lot of options that you're trying to consider. You might be procrastinating a little bit. So you need to get some advice on how to choose, and you need to do some research as well with the Seven of Cups. The Page of Cups is talking about a new offer coming in. Um, this could be an offer of a new job. It could be an offer... Um, it could be an offer for new relationship as well with that page of so, uh, cups. So this could be a message coming in for you. Um, and um, this could be an offer to do new study as well with that page of cups. The king of cups, this uh, could be a water sign person that you're dealing with. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And it looks like you've got the page of cups. They're dealing with that ace of cups, so that new offer. And the king of cups giving you that offer. So this could be a new relationship that comes in for you where somebody give you know, um, offers you a, a, a committed relationship. This could also be, you know, turning to somebody uh, who's a water sign person uh, and asking them for a good, solid advice as well. Uh, and that coming in as well. If you have any sort of medical issues, I always say with the King of Cups, make sure you get it checked out uh, and, uh, you know, watch your health, look after your health as well. So a time for you to be proactive rather than sitting and waiting for things to happen. Uh, it looks like if you ask for help, somebody's going to show you or point you in the right direction. You can see this girl asking uh, this woman for advice and she's showing her which cup to choose. So you need to do that. And then once you choose the cup, to choose what you want to do, you'll be able to, uh, you know, work with it. It also looks like there's some kind of good advice that is coming in for you that you need to listen to as well. And there's that help coming in with that two of cups. And as I said, this could well even be a new relationship that comes in for you. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Mythic Tarot. So you've got the Princess of Autumn, which is the um, Page of Pentacles, and it says, a wonderful opportunity related to your work or education, such as a promotion or scholarship, is coming your way. Seize this chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. So there's some study that is involved over here, and there is an offer coming in as far as... Uh, you know, you can see that even with that page of cups coming in, maybe even that king of cups giving you that offer. So some new opportunity coming. It could be an opportunity for study or even to become a mentor as well, since you've got cups cards there. You've got the dreamer card of here, so this is starting afresh. Uh, this could even be travel overseas, so you might be doing a lot more travel. Um, but you are starting a new adventure, run free and take a leap of faith. So you do need to take a little bit of a risk and go for it uh, and start afresh, really. And then you've got the seven of, seven of Summer, which is the same as that Seven of Cups over there. So it's saying a time to stop procrastinating and make a decision so that you can move forward with priority. If you need to do more research, then do so, but don't overthink the situation and listen to your heart. So a lot of options available for you, but it looks like you're going to need to go and get some advice so that somebody can point out which option is going to be the best option for you. And there is somebody that's going to be able to give you that advice, uh, and so you need to ask for it. Um, and even if you don't get advice from a person, go on the internet and look uh, and see you know, what your options are and how you can move forward. But definitely stop procrastinating. You need to start moving and stop waiting for things to happen. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.